Welcome back to another episode of Elite Landscapes Life Stories. This here is day two on this property on the fall trimming queen up. Last two videos one was trimming boxwoods, hedges, nice and tight and crisp. The one before that was where I was trimming back perennials and some. Some beautiful hydrangea bushes, some vines on trellises, some privet, big privet hedge. And I'm just continuing now going through this process. That first bed you just saw me trim was full of perennials, a couple of peonies, black eyed Susans. You know, there was numerous things in there. Yeah, there's a remnants of it. Trimmed back that Princess Anne Andina at the light post. It was getting a little bit big for that area. So this knockout rose here, you'll see where I trim it. I trim it back every year this time, same height. And it grows back in abundance to the size that it was. The knockout roses are really popular and for a good reason. They're beautiful and they grow a lot. And you really only have to touch them once a year. Around this maple tree, same thing. Knockout roses, just need to trim them back a little bit. Nice and manicured. Clean up all the dead stuff out of them as much as possible. Uh, I end up limbing that maple tree up also. It's been stabbing me a lot while I've been mowing grass, so... I went in and got the chainsaw and limbed that up as well. Didn't get any footage for you on that, but we're ready to walk around here. Show you what I've been up to. I'm just gonna show you the destruction I made the last day and a half by myself. We'll walk around and look at it. Starting here. So at this point in the game, ha, super excited because I've officially trimmed everything inside the fence in the front yard. There's those amazing boxwoods we got all shaped up, nice and tight. Got the knockout roses all over the place. Been taking care of the uh, planter pots as I went through, as you saw getting rid of all the weeds and trimming stuff back as needed got a couple of removals that dead rose right there we got to take out still but uh yeah we got to take that little dead thing out right there the place looks pretty good considering what I walked into but uh as you can see there's debris trimmings everywhere <laughs> So hopefully the troops will show up sometime this week and give a helping hand to the old man and getting this stuff cleaned up. And after they get it cleaned up, I'm still going to have to go through the beds with a weed eater and get all the little leftover rooster tails and such. Because obviously there's leaves everywhere, but most of it's taken care of. Those two vines are beautiful when they bloomed out. And there's that big hedge privet that I was talking about. So yeah, it's looking better step by step as I work my way through. I'm definitely pleased with the results right now. And I'm ready to go to the outside of the fence. So I'll take you with me, see what we're getting into. much to film guys it's just too much work to film uh, I'll show you what I just trimmed up and uh, hmm I think you recognize them well ha, you ain't gonna recognize them so no I'm talking about so those big huge mums they are cut down now so here's what I've been doing 
screaming on the mom's back. Turn these box woods. Just hand pruning. Hollies. Hit all these roses. Did not hand prune roses. Suckers. Yeah, that's where they were. Here they are now. So that's the stuff I just showed you down there. Let me turn around this way. We got a lot of huge crape myrtles. I trimmed them all back severely last year and they all came back beautifully. But yeah, I took some big meaty cuts off of them last year and they all came back amazingly well. But I've been taking all the suckers off the bottom of them up and down the trunks, so they're nice and clean. And they wrap behind the building, but now we gotta trim these boxwood. So, I guess I'll set y'all up and let you watch me trim some boxwood. The natural way, not the tight ones like yesterday. Yeah, keep it natural. And that one, that, that mess, that one. There's the crab myrtles. Already took care of all those suckers. Clean trunks. Alright. Let's try to set us up somewhere to film this. So I was saying that I trimmed these crepe myrtles back severely last year. And they had never been trimmed back hardcore. So they were extremely huge. And the main reason we trimmed them back is that you know half of them had this fungus growing on the just on the bark the outer branches the bark and I called my favorite nursery lady plant knowledge personnel my garden center and she assured me that they would be just fine if I turned them back and you can see there the big cuts where I nubbed them they all bloomed out perfect this year so I'm just saying, if you have a garden center around you that that you can go in there and, and build a relationship with the people that work there, the staff that actually know what's going on, you know, you can call them when you're on the job site and you have questions and they'll guide you through anything that you have to ask. That's my tip of the day and <laughs> it's definitely the most beneficial tip that I've ever shared for sure. Get to know your garden center professionals on a friendly basis and they'll guide you through any issues you have by the phone.
All right. Let's go over here and show you what I've been up to for the last hour. I debated on this one, whether I was gonna do this at the end of the day today, or start fresh in the morning. Well, <laughs> I, I wanted to do it now, because I figured that would just put me in a bad mood if I started that thing in the morning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. That rose bush is about 20 years old. It's big and meaty. It needed a severe cut back. A little bit of thorn bush trimming. <laughs> For different reasons. <laughs> Fun stuff, man. Always. Came back here and trimmed this out. So as I was saying, this pile of stuff here, it was all grown up in this corner. A year's worth of growth. I only come through here once a year. That's why I got done trimming. <sighs> Gotta cut that down tomorrow. And then I come back here tomorrow. All right, guys, got up here at 11 o'clock. It's five o'clock now. Day two on the trim job. Got a lot more than just trimming up here too. Got some removals, clean out all the planter pots. Mm. And then fertilize everything. And then mulch a few spots. Just a few spots that the perennials need that extra covering since we're taking away the leaves. So, plenty of stuff to do. Be back here tomorrow.